Good morning, love. How'd you sleep? That's great. I know that you've got a big day ahead of you working at the new karaoke bar downtown, so I made you a big breakfast to keep your energy up. I was going to pack your lunch, but I see you've already done that, so I put it in your bag for you, along with a few snacks to keep you fed. Your brother is starting school today. Maybe say something to try and cheer him up? Morning. Morning, sweetie. How'd you sleep? Fine. Here's some breakfast. I know school isn't your favorite thing, but it's always easy on the first day. I guess. You're starting work today at that bar, right? That sounds like a lot of fun. You'll both be working hard. Now come on, you two. Eat up. I'll drive you to school, Landon, since it's on my way to work anyways. Okay, Mom. I hope work isn't too hard for you today. Maybe one night you can get on stage and perform. You always sing in the car. I'm sure being on stage would be a breeze for you. All right, you two. Don't get excited. It's good work, and the pay is decent. Now go wash up, Landon. We've got to get going pretty soon. I'll grab your lunch. Go get your bag and brush your teeth. You too. Go on. And that's the lay of the land. Not too crazy, right? If you need anything, I'll be in the office waiting for the delivery truck. I'll let you know... It when it gets here, because I'm going to need some help. Here's your station and everything you'll need. Jamie will be here to keep an eye on you and help you out if we get swamped. Good luck, and thanks again for taking the job. Hey, thank God they finally hired someone to help me out during this shift. It can get pretty crazy ever since that talent scout for Full Moon Records showed up last week. Um, as you can see, there's a long line of people looking for people to get their shot. Anyways, we're not about watering down drinks here because the price is pretty fair in comparison. Um, I can imagine we're going to have a pretty packed day considering it's, you know, Friday. Um, but don't get nervous. It's just like bartender school, except here people actually pay for the drinks. Oh, um, oh, uh-oh. Incoming. Bachelorette party. Here, take this silver tray. Here's the tequila, a dozen shot glasses... Some edible glitter mixed in. They love it. Don't ask me why. Uh, this is what we call the VIP package. There we go. And there they go. Keep an eye out for them. They're always big tippers. You're quick, kid. You might actually have a shot here. Well, I sure hope so. Hey, sweetie. It's so good to see you. Keep them busy, I see. Hi, I'm Sam, the girlfriend. Hope they haven't been too much of a handful. Hey there, good to meet you. Well, it's only been about 15 minutes, but the night's still young. Can you get any more cute in the outfit? Don't worry, I won't distract you too long. Can I get a Jack and Coke? Something simple. Thanks, babe. I won't take too much of your time. I just wanted to say hi before heading home. Yeah, work was fine, business as usual. I've got some more work to get done before heading to bed, so I'll be up for a while. Do you want to come over tonight? It's been a while since we've had an evening together. How about this? Text me after your shift and we'll go from there. Oh, heads up. Here comes trouble. Hey, Jamie. Yeah, grab me my usual with a side of... Uh, your number? Uh, for the eighth time this month, Dante, you can only get one and we're all out of numbers. Here's your usual. It's a vodka soda. Oh, a newbie. Hmm. That looks like Tina got too embarrassed to continue working here after I totally obliterated her on stage last weekend. She left to work on a local production of Rent. Oh, how sweet. An ensemble role at the local theater. Oh, glamorous. Yeah, keep this one off stage if they know what's good for them. They'll uh, last long. 
How are you doing, sweetie? <laughs> Stick around, and maybe later you'll find out what a real artist looks like. Like desperation in a fun size package? Oh, Kitty's got claws. <laughs> Ew, what a jerk. That's Dante, a regular here. Especially after that talent scout came by last week. He's extra pissy. Because it was the one time he didn't show up. He can be quite the bully sometimes, like literally scaring people off the list and making sure they never return. But don't take it personally, he asks out all the women here. A desperate guy in a bar, unheard of. I gotta get going. Call me after your shift and we'll make plans. Love you, sweetie. Have fun. She seems sweet. Good for you. And and you don't have to worry about Dante. He's got a big bark, but absolutely no bite. Just bring his drink when he gets to the bar and he'll barely talk to you. Look alive. Client heading our way. Hey, can I get a margarita, please? Thanks. Packed house tonight. More than usual for a Friday night. Big show tonight? Oh, it's the open mic night tonight, huh? So all these people are basically waiting to get up there and sing? Are any of them any good? Oh, it's your first night. Let me guess. You're planning on working here and writing your music on the side until one night you get the nerve to actually get up on stage on your night off in the hopes that someone will hear you and think, that's the next superstar. Right? Well, whether it's true or not, it's always a path people tend to take when they come into a place like this. They see other people on the stage, facing what may be their biggest fear, and they get curious. If they can do it, why can't I? So they continue to pour in here, because after the first round of applause they hear, they're hooked. They need to continue to scratch the itch they've been feeling. Some people go as far as to spend hundreds of dollars a week just for someone to see them. Anyone. Hm. But much like anything that makes you famous, it's really hard to stand out from a crowd. Thanks for the drink. Keep the change. Those bachelorette girls are ruthless. Here, your turn to take the next round of drinks to them. Get ready for a long night of drunk karaoke. Oh, there goes one of them to the stage. She's separated from her group. Oh my god. Where's Dante? I want to see the look on his face when he realizes he'll be going on before and after them. Good work tonight, you two. Bachelorette parties always get crazy for bartenders. Luckily, the DJ was keeping up with the ridiculous requests, and they were big tippers. I swear, if I hear, tell me what you want one more time, I'm selling this place. Don't make promises you can't keep, boss. <laughs> the weird thing is I didn't see the talent scout tonight. Maybe they're still making the rounds. Too bad for Dante. I hope he didn't give you too much grief tonight. I do know how he basically harasses people into dropping their name from the list so he can hog all the stage time for himself. I'm sure he's extra angry knowing that he didn't get cast in that community theater play that he was going for. Uh, the trucks are all unloaded, and if all your stations are clean, you can go ahead and take off. Good work tonight. You really picked it up quick. I'm always happy to have people like you as part of our team. Same time tomorrow. Have a good night. Oh, my bad. Hey, maybe you can help us. We've been wandering around and I think, <laughs> I think we lost. There's like no reception. Uh, or maybe you have some reception we could borrow. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> so, do you know who we are? Are we in Narnia? Do we have to unlock the... 
next level. <laughs> Are you this side quest we have? So, can you help us? My phone is written in some foreign language and it keeps moving, so I can't read it. Oh, a cab. Hey, thanks. We got cash on us for it. I appreciate it. My name's Angel. And that guy hurling over there? That's Santiago. Good to meet you. You're a nice person. Hey, Santiago, get your drunk ass over here and say hi. Oh, seriously. Thanks so much. We've been wandering for like 20 minutes. We came from a party honoring the new boss star company. She's pretty scary, but she can throw a hell of a party. Oh, there's the cab. Thank you again, kind stranger. Now, get in, loser. Going home. Oh, gotta sleep this off. You don't have to tell me twice. To home, my good sir. What's up? Of course I'm still awake. My insomnia is kicking my ass. No, mom's already asleep. Okay, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. You sleep okay? Great. It took you so long last night. You later than you expected. You ran into two drunk people. Oh, they were lost. Well, that's nice of you to help out. What time do you have work tonight? Same time? Okay. Why don't we go ahead and get some breakfast before my shift? Wherever you want, love. Just give me another, like, five minutes. 